Our topic for today is life cycle of a butterfly. A butterfly lays eggs on the leaves of a plant. eggs hatch and young ones called larvae or caterpillars come out of the eggs. <coughs> the caterpillar first feeds on the eggshell from which it is born. It then starts feeding on the leaves and starts to grow. <laughs> the caterpillar sheds its skin several times so that it can grow. <laughs> Once the caterpillar is big enough, it stops eating. <laughs> It then forms a protective layer around itself. This stage is called chrysalis. In this stage, the caterpillar is now called pupa. The pupa remains motionless in the chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the pupa undergoes a series of changes. After about 15 days, a beautiful adult butterfly emerges out of the chrysalis. When the butterfly comes out, its wings are small and wet. The butterfly pumps fluids into its wings to make them strong and to expand. After a few hours, the wings become strong enough and the butterfly is able to fly. These series of changes in the life cycle of a butterfly is called metamorphosis. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
This is claimed to be the largest indoor butterfly garden in the world, the first of its kind in the Middle East, and the domes are climate controlled, providing the perfect environment for the butterflies and allowing it to be open year round for visitors to enjoy quiet, not much fun. Interesting fact, there are over 20,000 different species of butterflies around the world. And here in this dome that are living together are 50 to 60 species at any given time. All right, this isn't this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Do they bite? No. Oh. Those no. are Filipino butterflies. These are Filipino butterflies? Yeah. Hey, mabuhay. Yeah. Now, a lot of people may be asking, like, why do we have such a thing? Why do we need a butterfly garden? What's the point? Well, butterflies are the color of the world. They're an indicator of how healthy an environment is. And I think there are beautiful lessons that can be learned from a life of a butterfly. I read this quote that said, just when a caterpillar thought her life was over, she became a butterfly. And for me, that is an inspirational message of transformation, of hope, of beauty, of what is possible, of what can become no matter where you are today, and of the potential that every single one of us holds with the beauty that is in all of us. Much love, and God bless you all. Good day, children. I hope you all enjoyed the trip to the Butterfly Garden in Dubai. Today, our topic is Life Cycle of a Butterfly. Our learning objective for the day is to list and explain the different stages in the life cycle of a butterfly. All living things go through different stages in their life. For example, we grow up as a tiny little baby and then grow up to be a young boy or a girl and become an adult. The adult reproduces to make their own kind. This is a life cycle. If you are a life cycle, you will be able to do a life cycle. You will be able to do a life cycle. Butterflies are egg laying insects. Depending on their kinds, the female butterflies lay eggs one at a time in clusters or in batches of hundreds. Butterflies lay an average of about 100 to 300 eggs. There are different kinds. Some of them may only lay a few dozen. Others can lay as many as a thousand eggs. Butterfly lays its eggs on the leaf of a plant. The eggs are very tiny, mostly round. If you look closely, you can see the young caterpillar growing inside the egg. The eggs hatch about five days after the butterfly lays them. A caterpillar's first meal is its own egg shell. This caterpillar is the second stage in the life of a butterfly. This stage is called the eating stage because in this stage the caterpillars eat a huge amount of leaves and they keep growing in size. The third stage, pupa or chrysalis, is one of the coolest stages of a butterfly's life. As soon as the caterpillar is done growing and they have reached their full length and weight, they form themselves into a pupa. From the outside of the pupa, it looks as if the caterpillar may just be resting, but the inside is where 
all of the action is. Inside the pupa, the caterpillar is rapidly changing. Did you know the third stage, the pupa or the chrysalis stage? In this stage, the caterpillar eats nothing. It is only transforming, transforming into a beautiful adult. The fourth stage is the adult butterfly stage. When the caterpillar has done all its forming and changing inside the cocoon, the butterfly emerges out. When the butterfly first emerges from the chrysalis, both the wings are going to be soft and folded against its body. This is because the butterfly had to fit all its body inside the cocoon. The fourth stage is the adult butterfly stage. When the caterpillar has done all its forming and changing inside the cocoon, the butterfly emerges out. When the butterfly first emerges from the chrysalis, both the wings are going to be soft and folded against its body. This is because the butterfly had to fit all its body inside the cocoon. I hope all of you are now clear with the different stages in the life cycle of a butterfly. Here's a small activity for you. Choose the right number of the four different stages of the butterfly. Let me do an example for you. If egg is the first stage of the life cycle of a butterfly, click on number one. 